Have you ever wondered if your entire life is just an illusion? What if your memories, your body, and everything you see around you are not real? Sounds crazy, right? Well, that's exactly what the Boltzmann brain theory suggests. It's a mind-boggling idea that challenges the very nature of reality. Let's dive into this fascinating concept and see where it takes us. Now this might seem like the stuff of science fiction, but it's actually rooted in real scientific theories. It's a concept that not only explores the boundaries of physics, but also raises some deeply philosophical questions about what it means to exist. By the end of this video, you'll be questioning reality itself, and maybe even your own existence. The Boltzmann brain theory is named after Ludwig Boltzmann, a 19th century physicist. Boltzmann was fascinated by entropy, the measure of disorder in a system. He proposed that in an infinite universe, randomness can create order from chaos. This idea forms the basis of the Boltzmann brain hypothesis. Now, imagine a random quantum fluctuation so precise that it creates a fully formed brain. A brain with thoughts, memories, and even the belief that it exists in a body. This brain, floating alone in space, would not know the difference between its imagined reality and the actual universe. It would believe it was living a life just like yours. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, doesn't it? But it's a legitimate question that scientists and philosophers have pondered. Here's an even stranger thought. If the universe is truly infinite, then the random creation of a Boltzmann brain isn't just possible. It's inevitable. The longer the universe exists, the more likely these bizarre phenomena become. This theory is rooted in two key concepts, entropy and quantum mechanics. Entropy tells us that systems naturally move toward disorder, but within this disorder, there's room for brief moments of order to arise by pure chance. Quantum mechanics, on the other hand, deals with the probabilistic nature of particles and energy at the smallest scales. When you combine these two ideas, the possibility of a Boltzmann brain emerges. Scientists argue that while it's extremely unlikely, it's not impossible. The infinite nature of the universe makes it statistically plausible. Think about it. Given enough time, even the most improbable events can occur. It's like rolling a pair of dice an infinite number of times. Eventually, you'll roll double sixes, and in this case, the double sixes are a spontaneously formed brain. But here's the twist. If a Boltzmann brain can exist, then how do we know we aren't one right now? What if everything you see, hear, and remember is just an illusion conjured up by a random quantum fluctuation? This isn't just a fun thought experiment. It's a serious scientific and philosophical challenge. This idea doesn't just challenge science. It also dives deep into philosophy. It forces us to question the nature of reality itself. If your entire existence could be a product of random chance, what does that say about your perception of the world? Are you actually experiencing reality, or are you just imagining it? The Boltzmann brain theory has parallels with other philosophical ideas, like the simulation theory. Both suggest that what we see as reality may not be the ultimate truth. They make us ask the big question, how do we define what is real? If your thoughts and memories are indistinguishable from reality, then does it even matter if they're real or not? These are the kinds of questions that philosophers have debated for centuries. Let's not forget the psychological aspect. The very idea that your existence might be a fleeting anomaly in an infinite universe can be unsettling. But it's also liberating, in a way. It reminds us that the universe is full of mysteries far beyond our comprehension. Not everyone is convinced by the Boltzmann brain theory. Many physicists argue that the likelihood of a Boltzmann brain forming is far smaller than an entire universe coming into existence. They suggest that the formation of a universe like ours, with stars, galaxies, and life, is statistically more probable than a single brain forming out of randomness. Critics also point out that the theory relies too heavily on hypothetical scenarios. While it's an interesting idea, it doesn't align well with observable science. After all, we have no evidence of Boltzmann brains existing. It's a concept that lives more in the realm of thought experiments than empirical research. Still, the Boltzmann brain theory serves as a fascinating way to explore the limits of our understanding. It pushes the boundaries of physics and philosophy, 
challenging us to think beyond what we know. So why should you care about this? Because it's not just a quirky idea. The Boltzmann brain theory pushes us to question the assumptions we make about our existence. It forces us to confront the possibility that reality is far stranger than we can imagine. And in doing so, it opens the door to a deeper understanding of the universe and our place in it. This theory also highlights the beauty of scientific and philosophical inquiry. It shows us that even the wildest ideas can have value. They encourage us to think critically, to ask questions, and to embrace the unknown. Now let me ask you this. What if you are a Boltzmann brain? What if your entire life, everything you know, is just a fleeting moment in a vast, random cosmos? It's unsettling to think about, but also thrilling. Because it means the universe is full of mysteries waiting to be uncovered. So, the next time you're gazing at the stars, remember this. Reality might be more bizarre and beautiful than we can ever imagine. Thanks for watching, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you a Boltzmann brain? Or are we all just overthinking it? Keep questioning, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next video.